Hello. In this short lecture, we will talk briefly about the stability of dynamic systems uh, as it will be used in later um, sections of our course, especially in our um, consideration of switch scheduling and uh, scheduling in wireless communication. So um, consider a dynamical system characterized by this very simple relationship where X is the system state vector uh, and the derivative of the system state vector is characterized by this function F of the state X. The function uh, is uh, from Rn to Rn. We will focus on the case uh, that there's a unique equilibrium point at some state um, x sub e. And uh, without loss of generality, we will assume that this x sub e is uh, zero, the origin. Now, uh, what is an equilibrium point? An equilibrium point is defined as a point which satisfies which satisfies uh, basically f of x e equals zero. In other words, uh, when the system uh, reaches this point x e, it is at the rest. This uh, derivative is zero at that point. Now we will, as I said, we will assume that there is an X E that is a unique equilibrium point. This equilibrium point may or may not be stable. So uh, by definition 2.3.1 in the textbook, uh, this point X sub E is said to be globally asymptotically stable if the limit as time goes to infinity, x of t equals zero. So if you uh, let the system run, essentially, eventually it will hit this point for any initial starting point uh, in Rn, any initial um, state x of zero, okay? Uh, so in that case, our unique equilibrium point is also stable. So now there's an important theorem that will be very useful in network analysis. Um, there are actually two theorems that we will make use of. The first is the Lyapunov boundedness theorem. And the second one is the Lyapunov global asymptotic stability, stability theorem. So uh, for the Lyapunov boundedness theorem, we will define a function V, which is uh, referred to as a Lyapunov uh, function. Okay, so it is basically a function from Rn, which in our case, the general uh, state space that we have, uh, that we're considering, to real numbers. And we'll assume it's a differentiable function that goes to infinity as the magnitude of its argument or the norm of its argument uh, increases to infinity, okay? So as X grows, you know, as we uh, increase and increase, as we go um, further and further away from the origin, the value of the Lyapunov function grows to infinity. That's what we want uh, the, you know, the Lyapunov function to satisfy. We also want the Lyapunov function to be differentiable. And if uh, V dot X is the derivative of V of X with respect to time, with respect to not X, but time, okay, the time derivative of this function, which can be found, of course, by first differentiating with respect to 
x and then multiplying by the time derivative of x, meaning take the gradient uh, of uh, v with respect to x and multiply with uh, the, you know, take the inner product with the uh, derivative of x with respect to time, okay, uh, which by definition, since f of x is equal to x dot in our dynamical system is equal to this, we, if with this derivative of v of x with respect to time is non-positive, okay, for all x, then we are assured that essentially our state is going to be bounded for all time, meaning there exists a constant b such that the norm of x is going to be below b, below or at b for all time t. So what does this mean? If we can find a Lyapunov function for our dynamical system that satisfies uh, the, that 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 ensure that you know and and we can show basically that uh, the derivative of our Lyapunov function is never positive, then we are assured that our state is going to be staying bounded. Okay, it, it will be in a bounded region, and that is a good step toward uh, the stability of our equilibrium points. Okay, the proof is very simple for this theorem. Essentially, what we're doing is we're using this Lyapunov function as a vehicle. Um, so uh, rather than checking uh, the, um, and, you know, boundedness of x of t directly, we are, uh, you know, going to from x to v, and the v is a uh, univariate function, and we can simply check its derivative. Okay, so how does the proof go? At any time t, of course, uh, the v of uh, the state at time t, the open of function evaluated at the state at time t, can be found using the differentiability of v and using the fundamental theorem of calculus uh, as the uh, value of v at uh, I'm sorry, at um, time zero, basically, sorry. And plus the integral of the derivative of V from zero to up to time T. But clearly because of this condition, clearly because of that condition, um, this condition, I'm having a <laughs> marker malfunction. Because of this condition, uh, I mean, because of the negativity of the derivative, it is upper bounded by V of X zero. Okay. Uh, so that shows that uh, our, uh, the value of our state is bounded, okay, which completes the proof. Now, the next theorem is even more important, and it's going to be used in our proofs of the stability of uh, certain network algorithms. If, in addition to the conditions of the previous theorem, we assume that v of x is continuously differentiable and also satisfies the conditions one and two, uh, then basically the equilibrium point is globally asymptotically stable. The first theorem was about the boundedness of the state. The second theorem is about uh, the stability of the equilibrium points. Now, uh, what is the first condition? The first condition says uh, the Lyapunov function uh, is, does not uh, go negative. Okay, the Lyapunov function is positive. It hits zero only at the equilibrium point x equals zero. Okay, so essentially we're talking about a positive valued Lyapunov function, like 
uh, v of x equals x squared, x q, uh, you know, x squared or x to the power four, etc. Typically, usually up and up functions. Uh, the second condition, and it can be relaxed under some conditions, but the second condition of the theorem is that the derivative is always negative and never, never hits zero. It only hits uh, zero at the equilibrium point. Okay. Um, so under these conditions, our uh, equilibrium point is globally asymptotically stable, and that is going to be useful in our proofs of uh, stability of certain network algorithms, as I said, in later um, parts of this course. The proof is in the textbook. Basically, the proof relies on the fact uh, that, uh, you know, you could prove it by contradictions. You suppose that x of t does not converge to the equilibrium point as t goes to infinity. Uh, but uh, v of x of t is non-increasing because its derivative with respect to t is non-positive for any x. But since v of t decreases as a function of t and is lower bounded, it converges as t goes to infinity. And then we define a set uh, that where uh, x of v of x is between some epsilon and v of x of zero. We uh, and um, we assume, uh, we, I mean, we show by the first theorem that we proved uh, that um, if, uh, you know, if X did not converge, uh, then we would reach a contradiction. Uh, and uh, basically you can read the rest of details in the textbook if you're interested. Now, removing condition two is possible under certain conditions. Uh, it is not the detail that we're not really going to focus on in this course. Um, this, you know, it, it, one of the seminal results in network analysis uh, is the result uh, published in 1992 by Tassoudis and Ephraimides in their paper uh, titled Stability Properties of Constrained Queuing Systems and Scheduling uh, Policies for Maximum Throughput in Multi-Hop Radio Networks. Now, this result uh, talks about the stability of a scheduling um, setup. Uh, it's basically, there are multiple queues that want to get service in a, a certain uh, structure uh, like a network uh, with uh, certain um, activation properties, meaning you can only activate certain links together at a, a given time. This result has first been applied to switches very successfully to prove uh, essentially the optimality of maximum weight matching, which we will consider in later sections uh, of our course. Uh, and then, of course, it has been very successfully applied to wireless networks as well. So this paper is going to be a reading assignment for um, this course, um, and you should start reading this. There's going there's a um, presentation uh, made by a, a former uh, student taking this course, which has been uh, uploaded on YouTube. Uh, if you're interested in. Um, uh, taking a look at the presentation, perhaps before you read uh, the paper.